Hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, back with another science short. And today we are going to be looking at sound. So we are going to get a little messy today with some oobleck and some food coloring, and uh, we're going to use some really low bass tones to take a look at what sounds look like. So oobleck is going to be made out of cornstarch and water. An oobleck is one of those silly things that acts like a solid if you're moving really fast. As long as you're moving quick, it's going to stay solid. But if you move very slowly, it's going to act more like a liquid. And when I try to move fast to take my fingers out, it's going to solidify around them. It won't let me remove my fingers until I start moving very slowly again. It's what we call a non-Newtonian substance. So before we get to our experiment, a couple of things you need to know about sound. Sound will move through liquids, gases, and solids. It's actually a wave. And that wave is made by the back and forth vibration of very small particles. If you've ever heard people talk about frequency, Frequency is how fast that sound wave is moving back and forth. The faster it moves back and forth, the higher the frequency. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our oobleck and we're going to put it into a cake pan, probably about that thick. Then we're going to take a bass guitar amp. We're going to turn it so the part that sound usually comes out of forward is going to be coming out up. And we're going to set the cake pan with the oobleck on top of it. So. The sound waves that are coming out of it should create a pattern that will differ depending on the frequency in our oobleck. So let's go take a look. Okay, so we got some movement in the oobleck, but I think it'll be a lot easier to see if we add in a little bit of food coloring. Let's try that and see what happens. Other thing that we can do to kind of take a look at how sound moves or how it looks. So we're going to take a bowl and on the inside of that bowl we are going to put a Bluetooth speaker. Over the top of that bowl we are going to lay a bunch of saran wrap. We're going to pull it super tight. We're going to tape down the sides. Keep that top nice and tight and you can use salt or you can use sugar but we are going to use glitter to be able to see what sort of movement sound is going to make.
And that's our science short for today, guys. Thanks for following along. I hope we'll see you back next time. Bye.